Hi, so uh, with the cylinder body we have done that. Uh, let's let's write down what we have done just to recapture. With the cylinder body we have done it's a, a block making and we have an unstructured block tree and we have done unstructured we learned how to um, split the layers into that So, for example, we did from three layers to uh, 15 or 30 layers, and then we need to redistribute them. Today we are going to go a bit further ahead and uh, zoom in. We are going to um, clear the density of the weight, clear the uh, the create density region to capture the web and improve each quality using smoothing, uh, global smoothing. Okay, that's fine then. And let's try to do that. We got our scene in the body. Uh, we want to create a density region. So we go to geometry. Uh, And then, sorry, we go to mesh and we create density, and we can say entity bodies. Click apply. So I box selected the geometry, and it made me a density box uh, like this. Now I'm going to go to transform geometry and click on the density box because I want to capture this wake um, we just draw a line on the on the thing on the thing yeah where is that line turn off the shells okay this is not uh, a line you need to draw, I'm just showing you what I want to do and from here to here. So I want to capture around this region because that's where the separation and the vortices and all this physical stuff happens and it's important to, to, to have a mesh region where uh, a density region where the uh, size of elements is small. Okay, so I'm going to delete those lines now. I turn off the densities for now, and I just want to show you the cut plan before and after. So show cut plan. Mesh. Mesh. Cut plan. Manage cut plan, and it will be a cut plan in the z axis. So shells, yeah. Click fit screen, click Z, click volumes, and zoom into the wake region. Uh, this region. Okay, this is what it looks like before the density region 
and I'm just going to capture that photo. Keep it here. Okay, now I can dismiss this. And go back to the density. I went, uh, I went to transform geometry and click on the density and then I want to uh, scale it and I want to scale in X vector 10 times yes and then maybe Z vector 2 times and Y vector 2 times okay that's fine and now I need to translate it X offset maybe let's do by one by one okay let's start from here now I need to set some sizes uh, how do I do that I go to densities modify density click this one and size is set to 0.29 and I can click here density tetra sizes 0.29 so this is where the transition starts and this is the center point and it's showing me that the sizes will be that let's say I want size of 0.1 and a ratio of 1.2 click apply well I didn't change the sizes this Maybe point one is let's say point zero four. Oh, that's too small. It's just going to make the mesh unnecessarily bigger. So point zero point one. Let's let's try point one again. Click the density, click point one. Uh, sorry, uh, change it to point one. Okay. Uh, maybe we can try this now and um, just go to mesh compute and Delone using existing mesh compute. It might take a while, and if it does, I'll pause the video and come back. I think I'll pause and come back when it's done okay so it's done now it didn't take too long about five minutes but I'm pretty sure you didn't want to wait uh, just looking at a blank screen for five minutes so, so let's go to show cut plan again uh, manage cut plan middle Z was it yeah middle Z uh, fit screen uh, with far field on with far field on fit screen and z axis Ooh. and turn on the volumes and it says too many elements to display but we have a cut plan so that's fine okay so maybe I made it a bit more smaller than it it should be but you see how we can use density regions now to refine the elements of uh, the, the areas of interest let's actually uh, turn off the volumes and dismiss the cut plan and go to X show cut plan manage and middle X plan and 
Oops, if I remember correctly, it was somewhere here. And shells. Zoom in. Now, turn on the volumes. Yes, it has respected the the density region that we so this is the density region we specified and it has respected that um, if I turn on if I go to modify density and click this one see I didn't set a ratio I could have set this ratio to be 1.2 or something and then it will gradually increase the size rather than uh, at the moment it's everywhere just uh, constant cell size but this uh, is just giving an idea of how to use density regions and it's quite a powerful and nice feature in ICM CFD. Okay, so we'll dismiss this and we can have a look at the... Oh, I don't want to see the cut line anymore. Uh, neither the densities. Let's have a look at the quality. Since it's, there's like five million elements now, but, but still the element, uh, the quality is quite good. However, uh, I can improve the quality, I guess, if I use some smoothing. So what I do is I go to smooth mesh globally, and Penta six. Uh, I said Penta five. Yeah, it's called Penta six pyramid five. That was my bad. Um, so I set the tries to freeze and the pandas to freeze as well for now. And five iterations up to value 0 0.20. Um, that's fine. Click apply and see what happens. The worst tetra is 0.37. So we did smoothing and the overall mesh quality has now improved from somewhere around 0.26 to um, 0.35. Uh, you can continue doing that again and again, but one smoothing iterate, one smoothing try is fine for me uh, if the configuration of the mesh is not too complicated. So now we've got a good mesh in terms of uh, in terms of the surface uh, meshing in terms of area jump volume jump prism boundary there uh, and uh, transitions and density regions okay well I mean that that will be the end of this cylinder body uh, in the next tutorial, I'll talk about hybrid mesh met hybrid meshing methods for airfoils.